Hello everyone, it is Denzel bringing you back with another video and I am here, someone new, what is your name? My name is Chloe Swain and I am the founder of Mixed Waters. Mixed Waters. Oh, Mixed Waters. I thought you said Big Swatters. <laughs> no, that's weird. <laughs> big. <laughs> well, that's what I got out of that. That's what I got out of that. So, um, Chloe Swain here. Um, where are you from? I am originally from New York, and I'm currently making my move down to Miami, Florida. Yeah, so ha have you been to Miami before? I have never been to Miami. Um, I have been to Florida. I have, you know, many times Disney World is here, Universal is here. I like to, that's, we're big, at, my family's big on both of those amusement parks. Um, but Miami, no, I have never been to. I'm excited though. It's going to be, it's going to be transformative so um why, why are you going to miami by the way um so i had decided to move to miami uh first reason being my sis my younger sister is here she has type 1 diabetes and i wanted to be close to her uh oh. sometimes she has to go to the hospital and i mean with the pandemic going on right now it's just easier for me to be near her um, my other sister is going to the university of miami uh so we will be literally 10 minutes from uh, the university where she'll be going to get her doctorate in clinical psychology. So big ups to Molina, my sister, shout her out on here. Um, and then I pretty much made the move for those two reasons, one for my, both for my younger sisters. And then all, honestly, just for me, because this year has been really aligning. Uh, and I was like, I don't have any ties to where I am. I'm, you know, creating my brand and, there's a pandemic going on and, and instead of being up in New York during the colder months in a pandemic, why not be down with, you know, my younger sisters in warmer weather and still be able to like enjoy and be able to move how I want to move. Interesting. Interesting. Especially during the pandemic, a lot of things going on in the world right now, different things like that. Like you said, like being closer to your sister, that'd be like a great move for you to make especially I'm yeah, yeah we'll be good thank you yeah so um mixed waters is your um brand right mm -hmm. tell us about uh mixed waters what does that mean okay so one night i mean i've never been the type of person to be uh able to like create not that i wasn't able to create i probably just like like pushed that off, so like suppressed it in the back of my mind because I've always been a creative person. But just one night during the pandemic, I had like a really life changing year. Like a lot this year has been very like, it's been really crazy for a lot of people. But for me personally, it has been one of my most aligning years. It's one of my best years, probably my favorite year. It's, it's backwards, I know. Mm. But um, I was I was sitting in my bed one night and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to like start creating and I want to do something, but what am I going to call it? And I'm, I'm a biracial, uh, I'm biracial ethnicity. I am white and black. And then I have, I'm, you know, I'm very into movements. I'm very into community. I'm very into, you know, what's going on in our, in our world right now. And I mean, everybody is mixed and every, and I it just be colorism is a huge thing, but everyone is mixed at the end of the day. You're, no one is one thing. So I wanted to make sure that like this brand was going to be an all encompassing inclusive you know, everybody is welcome. Everybody can take from it kind of thing. So mixed popped into my, my mind. And then I am very much into astrology. I, you know, am very much into energy and elevation and um, the universe. And I was, I'm a Pisces. So my birthday is March 7th. So I was like, and my element is water. And I love water. I go away, like going to the beach. I like going to the lake. So I was like mixed water. It's like, through together and I've just been like obsessed like with it and ever since I put it together I was like all right like this is what it's going to be and then I mean mixed that's how I came up with the name um I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I want to do with it I know that I want to make an impact that I want to help people um 
I want to be able to move freely. I want to, you know, I just want to help people and I want everyone to feel like included. So that's my idea, idea for mixed waters. And I mean, there's ideas like popping into my head, you know, the days because I'm thinking about it all the time. But um, yeah, mixed waters was basically generated in my bed during a pandemic, thinking about myself and other people and how I can make it a more like a wholesome brand and that everybody mm-hmm. could be in to it. That's nice. That's nice. So you're like basically including everyone. Doesn't matter what color, everyone basically into your brand, basically. Everyone. I think that is a really, really good name. And I never you. thought of it that way. I thought it was um You tell actually can you tell me what you thought it was? Because I really was trying to get because because I wanted to be like <laughs> an inclusive thing. Like I wanted to get other people's like thoughts about what they thought what mixed waters was. What did you so, think it was? For First saw the name mixed waters on your page i in my head i just thought like because the water is all dirty and stuff um like <laughs> yes, in my true. mind in my mind i thought it was like the water just being dirty and all mm-hmm. different types of things being mixed into it like different types of fishes in the ocean like you know how and it in the water just being dirty um i thought that's what it was about right water having different types of things in it and it just being just dirty as a honestly and that's i mean honestly that's fair and i actually was part of a non a non-for-profit foundation i co-founded it and it's so interesting that you say that because i was it was called heal it was a human um environmental animal and life that was the acronym for heal and it was about because I lived on the Hudson River and the Hudson River is an estuary, which means that like the Hudson River and the ocean waters like mix together. And if mm. we're polluting our river, we're polluting our ocean pretty much because that's what was happening. And I, and I was in a non-for-profit where I was geared towards cleaning our portion or our area of the water. So that's really interesting that you say that because I was involved in something like that. Oh, cool. Our world as a whole as well, because, you know, our world is like dirty as a whole. And of course, we as being humans, we're like the fishes like swimming around in this big dirty world. Dirty our world acid. is encompassed by water. Like it could, and you know what I like about the name Mixed Waters is that it could mean so many things. Like you're, we're sitting here like bouncing ideas off of each other. Like though, you know, we, we pollute our water. Our water is our source of life. We are made up of water. Like it could mean so many things. Like and that's what I like about it because like yeah. it makes you think. And yeah, for the viewers watching, comment down below what you thought that me- meant to you as well because okay. I'm sure Chloe would want to hear you guys' mm-hmm. thoughts on um, the whole mixed waters thing because it is a really, really nice name. Thank you, really thank nice. you. And I totally thank you for that because I would totally would like, I would love to hear what people have to say about it because it could mean anything yes. and it means so many things. So I would told, I'm very down that that is really crazy how that stemmed into like a whole conversation right there like on mixed waters wow where do you see your personal brand going like is the mixed waters thing like like you is that like what you want your personal brand to look like or do you want people looking at your personal brand and i'm um, looking at you for your name like how do you see your personal brand going forward? Honestly, right now, I'm, I don't know. Like, if I could tell you, like, if I'm going to be, like, you know, 100% transparent for me, myself, like, I've never seen or felt to myself to be, like, in the limelight. Like, I'm the person who does the work. Like, I like to be behind the scenes. I like to, you know, I like to be in the work. I like to be out in the fields. I like to be, you know, or around people or like whatever whatever the work brings me like i'm willing to do it um so i've never seen myself being the face of anything um Mm -hmm. and especially because i want it to be an all-inclusive thing like i just want there to be and i and i just feel like it's more powerful when it's not just one face i mean i could be i guess i it's i guess i don't know like i I picture right now where I'm at in this mind frame, like where I'm at right now, I picture myself just being behind the scenes and being able to, you know, do things for people without having it just be like my face or, you know, that type of, that, that type of thing. But for right now, I think right now, no face for me. 
I'm just going to be behind the scenes doing the work. Maybe it could transform into something bigger. I'm just not there yet. I haven't thought about it, um, especially when it comes to me. Like I've thought about it in very other types of like segments and like d- divisions and what it, what it could be branched off to, but I've never like thought about it when it comes to terms with me. I feel like my voice is powerful and like, I want to be able to like speak to and for it. But like, other than that, like my face, I'm not ready. I don't think I'm ready for that. I mean, I don't know. Why, That's why not? Really why not? I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just a comfort thing. Like getting out of, maybe it's just something that I have to get out of my comfort zone for. Like I'm comfortable being behind the scenes. Like I don't like to be like, you know, out and about and just being like, Hey, this is me and this is mine. And this is what we're going to do with it. Because I just feel like that come, I don't know for me that I could come off like as being like, okay, like large and in charge. Whereas like, I just feel like if I want it to be an all inclusive thing, I don't want to like dim, I don't know, like, I don't want to dim somebody else's light. That's not what it's for. Like, that's not what mixed water is. It. I want to empower and enlighten and, you know, hand the mic off to as many people that I can. It's very, I don't know, like, but it, I mean, that's just for right now. Like, it could definitely change. It could definitely change in the near future. It could definitely change tomorrow. And I feel like for right now, because I'm in the beginning stages, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but right now that's my idea in my head. Interesting. That I Interesting. So, um, have you ever thought about like starting like a whole separate page, like being your personal brand and then maybe this one being like a brand page, like of mixed waters maybe? I, you know what? And I, this is why I like this, like very like fluid, like fluid conversation because I do actually, when I had started my mixed waters page, I was like, should I make my personal page just mixed waters? Like, should I do it? But I was like, no, because I mean, I don't, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm into politics. Like I am a, like I'm for people. Like we've had a lot of movements going on this year. Um, and I'm obviously like, I'm for those. I'm for black lives matter. I am for LGBTQ. I am for anybody that deserves to any human any being that's you know that's on earth and that deserves like because you know just there is disproportionate disproportionate as when it comes to our society so like i was like i don't want to lose that on my personal page so i was like well let me you know what i'm just gonna go out a whim and i'm just gonna make a new page and if it's meant to be if it's organic if it's raw if it's pure if it's you know well intended, look, well intentioned, then people will follow it and they will believe in, you know, what mixed water stands for. So I just did it. And you know what? That's a really good idea because I do now on my personal page, it's at Chloe Swain on Instagram. If you want to follow me, um, I do gear my personal posts and I always tag tag mixed water. So that's, I'm kind of already doing that, and I didn't even realize I was doing it until I had this conversation with you. That's a good idea. Um, I think that, yeah, that's, I should do that, and I, and I have been for my last two posts, but I just didn't want to lose sight of, you know, my personal life and then, like, my business life. Yeah, definitely should, because um, I think people would like to see, like, your personal life um, more as well. For me, I I just do everything all on one page, basically, mm-hmm. my YouTube channel. Um, I've created, like, a whole personal brand about myself, basically. Um, and, yeah, that's basically what I would say um, that you could do so people could see, like, you for who you are. And right. That's really, really, really cool. So... What do you do for a living? Um, so I, like my nine to five job, I say, is I work with children on the autism spectrum. Mm. Um, so I have my certification as a behavior analyst and I work primarily in New York State um, with children on the autism spectrum. And that can travel, I mean, that can transfer down to um, Florida as well. But I'm all about the youth. I love working with children. I think that they are our light. I think that they are our future. And I think that they are going to always, always be the key to, you know, having and living and expanding and evolution. Like I just believe, I believe in children so much and I, and I value their imagination and their playfulness 
And I feel like as adults, like we kind of lose that. So Mm -hmm. I love working with kids and I just feel like it's endless. Like when you're with kids, like their brain, like they're, it's just endless. There's magic. It's, it's fun all the time. And they also make you, you know, they bring you, they ground you, they bring you back down to reality. And they're like, this is what matters. Like, don't worry about this. Like we're having fun right here. Like, and I really love that. So I love working with children and I love working with children with disabilities because they are very unique in their own way. And they're no different than, you know, a a a typical um, functioning child. So I really enjoy working with children in general. And I were, I, I just love them. Um, so that's my nine to five. And then on the side, I have an Etsy shop where I sell jewelry and it's also branded by Next Waters and it's, um, it's hand stamped jewelry and I gear it more towards like, uh, you know, intentions, affirmations, um, give backs, uh, 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 what is it? Uh, fundraisers. Like I do, I do hand stamp jewelry and I, or teams or schools. So I do, I, I send that out and that is branded by Mixed Waters. And then I'm also trying to start up my own um, marketing company where I am going to probably gear a lot of my digital marketing towards companies right now to start um, mm-hmm. with, businesses that sell crystals because I'm very much into energy work and I believe it's something that I believe in and I'm very passionate about as well. Um, but right now I'm going to gear my marketing business towards, um, businesses that are online that sell crystals in different countries. Um, so yeah, so that's, those are the main things that I do. Is that all I want to do? No. Um, cause I want to, again, be endless and, and inspired by children and I don't ever want to cut myself off, but for right now, that's where I'm at. So there is a lot of things that you are doing. Um, so you have the, what you call the nine to five, mm-hmm. you have your Etsy store. How long have you been mm-hmm. doing Etsy for, by the way? Etsy has not, actually, Etsy's probably started around the same time that Mixed Waters was a, a twinkle in the in the in the sky. Like it wasn't. It has maybe like me since June. So how long? June, July, August, like three months. Oh, I was about to say. Uh, I was about to say probably back in December because. Um, yeah. Back in back in December, I used to um, niche down for my own personal marketing agency. I used to niche down to businesses in the Etsy niche um, and help those. Okay. Out. So. Um, oh, that's good to know. Yeah, I, that's what I used to do, but I branched out and focused more on like um, clothing businesses. Um, I still okay. do on Etsy, but not as much. If, if you look at my older videos, you would see a whole lot to do with um, Etsy um, on the social media marketing stuff. Okay. You said, so you do the Etsy, and now you started your social media marketing thing, right? What got you into doing social media marketing? I was sitting in bed again. A lot of my thinking like comes in bed. And I came across Jason Capital's social media marketing course, and pretty social much... Social media marketing course. Yep. I bet, I bet you saw his ad. Um, hey, get my new book. It's called Screw Jobs. It's really called. Absolutely. I'm not. I think that's where there. he. I think that's where he got all of us. I mean, it worked. I of mean, course. Just like, yeah. It, it <laughs> worked. So it worked. And honestly, the one thing that he said that stuck out to me was like, people will, you know, go a whole 365 days and work in nine to five, or you know. Um, invest in, you know, stock market, but like, you'll never take a chance on yourself. And he was like, when are you going to take a chance on yourself? And I was like, I'm going to take a chance on myself. Like I'm going to, if I'm going to believe in anything or anyone, it's going to be me because like, I'm going to trust myself. I, you know, I've gotten this far in my life. Like, why wouldn't I do that? So he really like put it into perspective. And I was like, okay done like i'm doing it so i've been taking the course now for like a little over a month um and i'm still learning but i'm also investing in other courses like i'm taking free online digital marketing course on harvard because they offer free online courses ever since the pandemic and i'm just trying to like not put you know with when it comes to learning not put all my eggs in one basket because if i'm going to do this and i want to be good at it and i want to help other people 
then I want to make sure that like I'm doing it at the best of my ability. So I've, you know, I've done the Harvard online digital marketing course. I've done his course and, um, now like just trying to delve in on my niche and like really, you know, think about who I want to see and who I want to be around and who I want to work with. What do, what did that person look like? You know, now it's like really like, I, you know, what I love to do, what I, you know, what calms me, what brings me back to, you know, the ground, what grounds me, what brings me back to center, you know, and that's crystals, that's, you know, self-work. And those are the types of people that I want to be around because they're constantly making you feel good about yourself. That's what I want. I want, and that's what I want to give. I want to help, help those people, help other people feel good about themselves yeah. and be around things that make you feel good. Yeah. Being around people um, that motivate you. Um, yeah. And that's one thing I would say um, that um, us being entrepreneurs, because this is um, an entrepreneur um, show. It's the very first thing, uh, very first time I said, this is a show. Like, wow. I guess this is a show. I like, guess. Yes. It I is should a probably show. I should probably make this into a show, probably. You I don't know what the I don't I don't know what the name should be though. What should the name be? <laughs> well, I mean, you would, well. We'll talk about you, that after you, the call. You ever thought about this? Yeah. Well, I, okay. I never, because we're gonna have to talk. We're gonna have to have a side conversation about yes. this because, like, I'm surprised that it's you don't even already consider it a show. Like, of course, it's a show. You have people <laughs> showing up. They're willing to give you your t their time. You're willing to give them your their time and like. Yeah, of course it's our, a show. This is, this is kind of like a podcast, I should say. It's kind of like a podcast. I do. And you know what? I really enjoy podcasts. And that's kinda, exactly what I want to do. It's kind of like that. Uh, I mean, it's, hey, we'll talk, we'll talk about the, Let's get back okay, on topic, okay. though. Let's We're get back excited. on topic. Okay. <laughs> let's get back. What, what were you talking about? Okay. You, you had asked me how I got into the digital marketing and the courses. I forgot what a... Well, what, what, what was well you would ask you were said how did you get into social marketing and then we talked about jason and then jason and then that was yep yeah. and you were like and that's usually how it goes like you know um, okay yeah. <laughs> where was i <laughs> i mean <laughs> we hey. Got excited. We got <laughs> hey um yeah <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so this is the energy right here this is the energy that we get from Jason Capital because Jason Capital, he's just like a really like He is like, a motivator. He makes you yes. he really makes you believe in yourself. And that was my thing. Like I said, you know, like people go their whole lives like not being able to take a chance on yourself. And he was just like asked you. So what speaking are you to do? so speaking on that. Speaking on that. Uh -huh. What in yourself made you want to take a chance on yourself? Because you say you want to take a chance on yourself what made you want to step out of your comfort zone that you were at and go the next step in your life okay so we're gonna get really deep right now very Let's honest deep. very deep Let's right now deep. so this year into 2020 january um i was in a relationship and the relationship basically long story short didn't work out and that relationship was supposed to be the one like I invested into that relationship, you know, energy, time, money, um, sacrifices, like as any, you know, relationship would, um, I had, you know, I just, I had, we had went prior last year to Jamaica. Um, and it was just, it was a, a magical experience. Like he was the one, but then there was just some things in our relationship that didn't work out. And, um, it was very traumatizing and I, in the middle of a pandemic, so, you know, realizing that oh, this relationship didn't serve me in the middle of a pandemic, um, also not having the most strongest at the beginning, and this is at the beginning of the year relationship with my parents and being afraid to confront them with, you know, the, um, difficulties that I was having in my relationship, I had, um, left my non-serving relationship and lived with a friend for a week. And my friend, God bless her, she is a mother, a very young, she's a young mother, beautiful mother, very good mother of two beautiful children. And, you know, she had sat me down and was like, look, like if, you know, I might, if I knew my daughters were going through something like this, I would be 
devastated to not know that like I, there was nothing that I could do to help her. So she pretty much opened my eyes and I had a really good, I have really good friends. Um, and I was able to confront my parents and tell them what was going on in my relationship. And I was just like, I'm moving home. Relationship, scared to tell my parents, built up the courage to be able to tell my parents that like I'm moving home and this is what happened and this is what's going on. And my father and me moved, uprooted myself from our, my apartment in a town across the river, moved all of my stuff over. And I have my, you know, my other younger sister who was like, I'm moving to Miami. Like you should come with me. And I was like, yes, like all of this is happening. There's no limit. Like, and then I, and then I saw the thing with Jason and he was like, take a chance on yourself. And I was like, why the, f I mean, I don't know if I'm allowed to curse, but I was literally like, why the fuck not? Like all this bad stuff or not bad. I don't like saying bad transformative things were happening in my life. And it could have been a really bad year for some people. But for me, I was able to, you know, leave a relationship that didn't serve me become who I want to be as a, as a person, as a human being, as a woman, as a colored woman, um, be able to strengthen my relationship with my parents because for the longest time I was scared. Like, you know, I always complied. I always followed the rules. I didn't like to create waves in my house. And like now I'm older and I'm, and I'm 29 and you know, I don't, I feel like as no, it doesn't matter how old you get, your parents will always be your parents. And like, you will always be, you know, I'm a very respectful person and I value my, the adults in my family, um, my elders. Um, that's where, you know, how I grew up, but like, yeah, like I was able to be respectful, but also, you know, strengthen my relationship with my father and my mother. And then also decide that like, I am moving and I'm going to take this next big leap of faith and my big thing is always walk by faith not by sight and i'm doing that this year so yes this year was really aligning for me and that is why i took a chance on myself because i was like why not like all of these things i could be that could be bad because i don't like to say bad Tra that i turn them into a transformative they transform me to be a better person and to be better for myself because i am i am a very giving person sometimes too much and like i put a lot of people before my own needs and i'm trying to learn that balance this year there is no end to growth and there's no end to healing it's a constant process and i'm learning that this year so where i am right now i am not giving up the person that i am the woman that i am the colored woman that i am today for any day this the rest of this year because it's just constantly up like i'm constantly going up so yeah that's yeah. why that's why that is my why and keep it's keep fizzling going. Yeah, <laughs> you have to bleep that one. You're gonna have to yeah. bleep that out. I'm gonna have to bleep out a lot of stuff. I'm gonna have to bleep out a lot of stuff. Um, and many times it just takes a downfall, um, like that to like um make you realize like, oh man, you know what? Right. Like, it's time for me to like, uh, uh like. Yeah. You know, like do something to make that change. Be the change. Literally, my mantra bands on my wrist say be the change. I also have one that says BLM Black Lives Matter, but I'll show you this one. Yeah. Okay. By the way, what? Be I don't know if you can tell. Be the change. I could kind of see it. Hey, by the be way, what is your what is your Etsy shop? I wanna I wanna promote that too. It's mixed waters. It's just mixed it's, waters? It's wow. mixed waters. I'll double check too because i know that it's brand new but it's it's just mixed waters how many sales etsy. have you got so far with your etsy store um honestly not a lot it's it's pretty it's still new and with my move it's been really difficult um maybe like maybe like 40 so cool. yeah, 40 sales new. that is a lot just starting out what, what? that is a lot that's not a lot like yes it is of it being up that's not a lot okay it well, is a thank lot. you that for making because I really don't feel like that's a lot. That is a lot, um, you know, just starting out though. You just said starting out. That is a lot. I mean, for us, I told you for my, um, well, I mean, social media marketing is different than Etsy, but mm -hmm. I only got like, like three sales and it's almost been a year. So, okay. I mean, I, I'm not focused on that fully, but well, and right. I have like different businesses of my own um, mm -hmm. that I'm focused on. So, you know social media marketing i'm kind of past that by now um anyways yeah so you 
took the leap of faith and now where do you see yourself in the next year i always ask people that I speak with where do you see yourself in the next year as an entrepreneur as a grown woman as someone with this brand called mixed waters where do you see yourself next year in 2021 i personally i'll start with myself personally i see someone who isn't scared who takes chances who's you know assertive and confident um, in herself and what she's created and what she has to offer and give to the world um, business wise I would say I don't even I the first thing that comes to my head is just blooming like just blooming at whatever rate and I am not like the type of person like I am not fueled by money whatsoever I think that um, people say like money is a riddle all evil I don't believe in that I just think that like there's just not enough of it i mean i mean it Anybody depends is what you do with the money it could right. be the root of all your right. evil if you spend but it you know, on bad right. things like you know what i mean well jason in one of his courses say like if you're gonna sit there and say money is the root of all evil you're never gonna make it because you're gonna be like it's bad you're gonna associate it with these negative thoughts and it's never going to be attracted to you because they're it's you're not you're not making good with it right it doesn't to be a bad thing but it does go back to what you were saying about like it depends on what you do with it so i do agree with you um but yeah so with business wise it's just blossoming like just growing and being able to attract you know an organic following and people who need it and people who you know want to be motivated or impacted and just feel good because that's all i want to do is make people like i want to i want to help people feel good and it could be many different routes but when you take care of yourself um you're able to take care of other people when you're able to give yourself you're you know you're growing you're you're you feel good it's it's motivating so i'm just for me like i just want to be able to blossom i want to be able to help people i want to be able to reach people who need the help and i also want people to be able to reach out to me too i mean just in the last day like i've had people reach out to me um with my last post on instagram because i do get involved i'm all about community i do get involved in community i like to give back i you know people i can't tell you how many people i run across where people like have clothes in their back seat because they want to give it to Goodwill and they're just driving around for months because they're like, I'm gonna go give this to Goodwill and it's just in their trunk for like weeks. And I'm like, well, let me take that off your hands because there are a lot of people in this world that like would love to just go shopping for free, like outside on a nice sunny day. And I had somebody reach out to me and ask me, you know, how like if I can help them just in the last two days, just from that post. And that's what I want. Like I want be able, want people to feel comfortable to be able to come to me and I want to help people. I just want to grow and I want to impact people of everybody, not just like, you know, one small set of people. I want to be able to be able to touch everybody. A large portion of people. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that is like, what are you going to do? I see your posts every day. I saw your most recent one. Like you are like, a really genuine good person Thank and you. i just I care really, about you. I care. and that is really good a lot of people they just don't care there a lot of people are just self um yeah I'm here, for each other. I'm here for you too like this is just so powerful and i i mean i know like just to say to get off my chest like thank you for inviting me and like having me on this because i think it's just important to kind of have the conversations um because so that when people know, like, you know, they know who they're, you know, who, who I am, they know who you are and what we're about. And I just like, I'm very like thankful and very grateful to be on here, to be given the opportunity to speak on your, you know, on your show. Yes, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I might make it into something. Um, anyways, if I do, then you guys might find out in the next episode, I guess. <laughs> yes, I'm excited. I look forward um, but to yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> um, this right here is Chloe Swain, and yeah, she is a young entrepreneur. Not young. I don't know. I don't. I, I'm anyways, young. Too. Age is young. Just a number. I'm young. Oh. I don't look. I've been told I don't look 29. I know because it's because my inner soul is not 
30 years old, <laughs> years old is young. I'm young. Shoot. You're young to me. I'm I'm yeah. <laughs> actually I'm actually 38, by the way. Really? Yes, I'm 38. What? I've been walking the earth for many years. I thought, <laughs> wait, I thought that you were 18, Denzel. Yes, Are I am 18. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm 18. <laughs> You're 18. I was going to yes, say, I was like, you look great for 38. 20 years younger. Are like, you kidding me? How am I going to be? <laughs> oh, man. I like to have fun, by the way, as you can tell. But me yeah, too. hey. Positive vibes, positive energy, you know how it is. All legit, no BS. <laughs> um, but yeah, we are going to promote you like crazy. I'm going to link your Instagram down below. Um, it's Mixed Waters, I believe. Um, yep. And I'll, if you want to send over your uh, Etsy page, I'll also put that down below. Okay, perfect. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, yeah, make, sure you go wanna, and make sure you go check out Chloe's pages. Her pages will be linked down below, so you guys can go check her out. She's a really, really sweet woman. And every single week, I hope to get ambitious entrepreneurs on this page who are just starting out so I could boost them up and get their personal brand out there because that is mainly what it's about, getting your personal brand to grow, getting your business to grow, different things like that. I will be sure to make something of this, and we will see you in the next episode. This is Chloe Swain. You have any last words you want to say? I love everybody. I love you all. And that's all I got to say. Love, love, love. All right. Thank you for joining and 